morning, everybody. Let's see if anybody gets on this morning. All right, we have a few. Hello. Try not to get distracted. I'm back in the office today, so I got people walking by my door. So, hope you all are doing well. Good morning. We'll get people a few more moments to get in here and I know people are back to work and catch catch it later so all right sorry though <laughs> yeah pastor Andy C walked by my office to go into his office I'm like no, I can't no distractions shiny thing I can be like Dory from Finding Nemo at times so uh, this morning, uh, one, I want to say I'm glad you're here and um, glad you are uh, with us for morning devotions. Um, before we get into it, we're going to pray, but I also want to remind you that starting next week, devotions will be at 9 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays only, and then we'll have our normal service times on Sunday and Wednesday, uh, but we're going to try to spread out and uh we feel like we need to continue it, but we're going to change it up a little bit. So Tuesday mornings and Thursday mornings, 9 o'clock right here, and then Wednesday evenings and uh, Sunday mornings at 10 um, will be our normal service times. So with that, let us pray, and we'll get into the Word this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the sun that is shining beautifully, God. We thank you for keeping watch over us in the night hour. Lord, we ask you to, um, Lord, to be with us over the next few moments. Be with us today, Lord, no matter what we're walking through, Lord. And as we study your word, as we hear what you want to speak this morning, um, God, we ask you to just uh, do a new thing in our lives. And we give you praise and we give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen. So, uh, we are here looking, look, oh, this is bad. This is super bad, y'all. <laughs> I got I got my brother Andy, I got my brother Corey, and I got my brother Andrew all standing at the door, uh, distracting, <laughs> got floating heads coming in. But um, I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, but uh, I, lo I love those guys. I love the team that has, has been assembled here at the church, um, and God's got great plans. Um, but this morning, um, as I was praying, seeking, just saying, okay, God, what do you want uh, for today? He took me to Psalm 118, verse 24, that says, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, David is writing that in the midst of a good day. Tomorrow may be a bad day. Yesterday may have been a great day. Um, but this is the day. This, today, is the day that the Lord has made. So we have got to rejoice and be glad in it. Um, and you may say, well, what do I have to rejoice about? Well, did you did you make it through the night? Uh, did you uh, sleep in a bed? Maybe not the most comfortable bed, but did you have a roof over your head? Did, is there food on the table? Um, was he pro your provision? Was he your protection? Uh, we have so much to be thankful for to say today. This day is the day that he has made. So I'm going to rejoice. No matter my circumstance, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And um, as I was uh, thinking about this passage, um, the Lord speaks to me through a variety of ways. Um, a lot of it is through music. Um, he'll hit me with a, a song and, and speak to me through it. But last night... Um, I was I was uh, laying in bed and I was thinking of this scripture and um, I was reminded of uh, there was this movie several years ago a cartoon movie called Kung Fu Panda and uh, there was this turtle master ninja kung fu guy and um, his name was Master Ugwe and in this movie he said yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery today is a gift. And that's why it's called the present. Today's the gift of a new day. Rejoice in the gift of today. When I heard, when I was reminded of that, I, I went to that scripture. This is the day that the Lord has made, so I'm going to rejoice. And I don't know 
what your circumstances are. I don't know what hand you've been dealt today, uh, but you have today. Tomorrow, yesterday, you may have screwed up, and you may think, man, I, I, I messed up. He gave you today to, to live for him. So start today fresh. Start today and say, Lord, I missed it yesterday, but today I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to do my best to do better. And I'm going to live for you. And today's a day that I can rejoice because I uh, have another day to, to live for you. I have another day to, to do better. Um, and, and anxiety about tomorrow only robs you of the gift of today. I, I, I know people who um, anxiety uh, is, is crippling and I remember when Bethany and I were dating and engaged. Our entire engagement, 13 month engagement plus four months of dating, um, I lived two and a half hours away. And I remember uh, on weekends that I would come down to visit or she would come up to visit that um, if I had to leave Saturday evening because I had to be in church uh, leading worship the next day, then by about one o'clock on Saturday, I could see uh, her demeanor start to change. And I, I, it took me a while, but I, I recognized as we went on that um, she was uh, anxious about the fact that I wasn't going to be there tomorrow because I would have to go back. That the last four or five hours of my time with her weren't uh, spent as the most enjoyable because the worry of tomorrow was affecting the gift of today. And that often happens in life. We worry about this, you know, um, I have a doctor's appointment where it could be serious. I have I, I have to get my wisdom teeth cut out uh, on this date, so I'm going to be anxious until that. I, it, little things, I mean small things, can rob us of today. And the Bible tells us in Psalms, today is the day that he has made. So rejoice in it. So don't let the enemy beat you up about what may or may not have happened yesterday. And don't let him make you anxious about what may or may not happen tomorrow. Live today because God gave us today to rejoice and to be glad. And so, um, I, I, like I told you, songs come to my head. Uh, so as we get ready to end this morning, I know it's a short devotion, but I want you to go out and say, like when I pulled into the parking lot this morning, I met Pastor Terry. And I, he's one of he's one of my favorite people. Um, we got out of the car, and I, I said, "Good morning, Pastor Terry." And he said, "It is a good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Man, the sun is shining. Even even if it was pouring the rain, it is still a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice." But here's the good news: it's beautiful outside. You know, get outside. I Man, sunshine. And, and the outdoors and, and just the beauty of it will, will turn a, a, a bad day into a better day because this is a day that he has made. So just rejoice and be glad in it. And don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow, it'll be there if we get there. But we're not guaranteed tomorrow, but we have today. So rejoice in it and be glad in it. And like I said, uh, songs, they, they hit me. So I remember I, I, I will leave you with this song that says, This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is a day that the Lord has made. You can even clap. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day. This is a day that the Lord has made. So that's my tune for you this morning. Thank you for being here. You were loved. You were appreciated. And don't forget, we're on tomorrow. I believe it's Pastor Jonathan. And then starting next week will be Tuesday and Thursday. Have a great day. God bless. We hope to see you Sunday. Thank you.